Careful that you don't let his stride get too long in front. You want to keep it a little boxy so that you're preparing him for the jumps. Because you want to be a little deep, not long and flat. A little more. And on the circle, you're going to do a little lengthen for about 10 steps, a little shorten for about 10 steps. A little more, more. That's it. Now shorten. Careful not to let the post get too high. Keep the rein a little more organized. And when he gets stiff through his jaw like that, yield him away from the inside leg and then back to the inside leg. That's it. Good. And then forward again. Shorten again. Lighter, taller. Taller body. Taller. That's it. Sitting trot and change through the center. Forward a little more. Yes, that's it. Beautiful. Posting trot working. Careful not to uh, allow the hand to pop out when, you're, when you've got a good feel of him. Allow it to travel back past your ribs. Good, nice working trot, a little more active. And then forward trot. Good. Selected trot again, working trot, shortening the stride. Strong trot again. Good. And then take it into the collected sitting trot. Very active, that's it. Make him yield right, right leg to left hand. Good. Little more shape. And canter. Forward into the bridle. Feel how he's, he's evading. Keep the hands soft, but connected. And tell him what you want. Don't uh, lengthen the stride, just keep the activity up. Sit. And then work on the shape again. Good. You could do a small circle around the yellow oxer to achieve that nice circle. Look around to his tail, and you'll find the right shape, the correct shape. That's it. Do the circle again. Feel how he's a little bouncy? You want him to come off your outside leg a little more into the inside hand. There. And then back out on the circle. Show a, a bigger canner with the hind end meeting the front. Careful not to get out, out of center of balance. Stay in the center of the saddle. Trot transition, forward, forward, changing rein, sitting, and canter. Forward right away, get a nice working canter, the hind end is a Needs to meet the back end, uh, the hind end needs to meet the front end to establish a nice working canner. A little more shape. Ah, yes, good. Support the outside rein with the half haul. There you go, now you've got him. And extend the canner. Working canner again. Sit back to extended canner. Next time when you get back to the uh, working canner, make him yield through his jaw a little bit more by more activity from the hind end and a, a more supportive half halt. Working canner. Good, and then forward into the working trot. Sitting trot and then transition into working walk. Super and then relax. And then just turn so off. This is I am. He's a, uh, I believe he's 14 years old, 
and he does the meter 25 to 35 in the uh, professional divisions. And uh, Valerie Smith Bracken is an aspiring uh, professional who uh, runs a uh, hunter jumper barn out in Oakville and rides with uh, me and myself being Greg Cutie. So this, this is our uh, working pair today. Okay, so if you want to start with just catching the little Cavaletti away from me to the uh, bigger Cavaletti and then repeat it. So I use little Cavalettis to warm up for instead of X's and stuff like that. I find they're a more practical jump for me. Different ways of doing things, I use Cavalettis a lot. You would do this at every... At, at, at home, we use at a lot home. of Cavalettis. So there she demonstrates a nice deep distance, horse in hand. Good, turn left. And then come off your left rein to the same little combination. Good. So for me, the idea is always to be a little deep, especially at the small jumps. Beautiful. And walk. So I'd like to have seen him a little more in hand at your first jump and then uh, the second jump was very nice. Make him be a little sharper with his lead change by keeping your outside leg on. Okay. So um, let's just do a small route starting with those two. So your little Cavaletti <laughs> to your big Cavaletti. And then your outside eight to your red oxer followed by uh, the balancing six here, okay. and then just circle and walk. And all she's doing is achieving the, the balance and control she wants to have when she goes to the ring. Keep a little more active leg, especially as you get to the jump so he has better balance. Yep, and so we're adding a stride in that, that's normally a seven. This horse does very well at le uh, doing normal steps, so we always work on practicing the add. Get a little rounder shape and a little straighter. Beautiful. And trot transition, little sitting trot, and then walk transition. Super.